Hello. Hello. I am Denise. And I'm Ali. And together we are DNA. DNA. <laughs> Today it's a new way to do it. <laughs> it is. Today we are going to talk about our journey, our adventure on the way to Sawmill. Yes, it was another quest, <laughs> wasn't it? It was. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what's the right word? Journey, adventure. Yeah, I know, we like quest. Quest. It does feel like forever another questing. Yes, and what it brought up is so many different things, including the process of change mm -hmm. um, and... And a whole bunch of stuff that I learned and brought in that I didn't expect to learn and bring in by moving house. It is one of the ones that's right up at the top of the stressors in life. Moving house is one of the ones that's up there. And of course, it's a privilege to get to move house and mm -hmm. to be able to do that um, and to be able to decide where it is that you want to be. Huge yeah. privilege, huge honour <clears throat> and really, really brought up so many different things, right? Yeah, I mean, the... The final outcome is great. <laughs> and there's a huge lot of processes, I think, that go along with it, including like, the loss of what you're leaving and mm. um, announcing that <laughs> to the world and welcoming what comes next. Yeah. Although our like place of living changed, we opened a, a space to go there's still plenty space to be with us just yeah, in a yeah. different way a different shape a different form it might look different but oh we are different because <laughs> change happens change all the happens. time change but happens and change are... changes you more yeah and also there's some things that i didn't realize that we needed um and that actually when we brought them into our new home made us feel more at home, mm -hmm. anywhere, anywhere you are, you yeah. get the right wee nuggets of essence of us and uh, I'm thinking colours. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> and so when you put the right colours on the wall for us that we can both agree on, which is an interesting one because we see colours completely differently. Well, we just call them different names. We do, but we know what they <laughs> <laughs> I think they look the same to us. We just have a different... Framework, framework for them. what a colour is. But now we know what they are. It's just like, <laughs> right, get the yeah. colours up yeah. and then we were in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, oh, we're home. Um, so on a broader scale, looking at the process of change that occurred during big stressor times um, for us and what we learned and how we got to be here and why we left, how we moved, um, and then we moved again, um, and then uh, <laughs> how we landed and what's happened since. So... Yes, we weren't running away from the life that we had before. The life we had before was ending all around us and there wasn't really anything else we could do but embrace the changes uh, that were happening around us and and go with it and run, uh, not away from but towards the <laughs> next um, chapter of DNA. Where were Denise and Ali? At some point I'm just going to call myself D and you'll just be A. Hey. <laughs> I've answered to worse things. <laughs> yeah, I think um, we all lived through a, a universally challenging time of COVID, pandemic, lockdown. And I think for a lot of us, being uh, enclosed mm -hmm. in our home gave space and time to face things, yeah. question things, mm -hmm. um, and, and maybe reevaluated re what what's the what's important, what's not so important. Yes, I think that's probably true. And our backdrop for the pandemic was as singers, as vocalists, as vocal teachers, as breath facilitators, as all of that was closed. And we pivoted like ballerinas doing triple pirouettes until we got ourselves, like everybody else in the world, onto Zoom. Bor Boris Johnson told us uh, professional singers and musicians to retrain. I don't have time to retrain after everything that we've already done. That what wasn't going to happen, and I that's enough about to, politics yeah. for today. <laughs> I don't um, want to retrain. I like what I do. We liked what we did, <laughs> um, and we did pivot. 
and we had a choir that was online which was incredibly special incredibly embodied the yes choir and beautifully managed by you ali and um and we we kept that going for another year online and i did lots of pr and marketing and how to work online kind of programs i love to learn we love to learn Mm -hmm. we've said that before so i did quite a bit of of that kind of thing i met some people online that are now I consider really deep friends um, that I've never met yeah. and we've said that before it's it, it's special it's an interesting it time. is an interesting <laughs> time and I started to write I once the choir finished I that was a grieving process really for me mm. I loved my friends I loved your friends the yesers <laughs> um, and and I enjoyed doing all that work that we were doing we were about releasing becoming Mrs Bell was uh, the first EP was out and we were on a roll and then we just absolutely we were we were we just absolutely had to close down um and pivoted online and put everybody into our beautiful little progressive performance clan online uh I was seeing them weekly um and the rest of the time was our own and that and that is amazing um I think what I learned from that period of time was that we were really quite happy on our own. We could do this. Um, <laughs> actually, I, I wanted more of it. Mm-hmm. Um, I kept doing a a writing course. There's a book to come. It'll come in another in another episode. She wrote an album. But I did write an album. <laughs> Um, writing did occur just a different just format. a different <laughs> format I just was like we need to do this one before we do that it was became very clear to me that we needed to do this one before we did that and I started writing an album um, which was called Home listen to it at your own peril because by the end of the album we'd moved house twice yeah. and we have a completely different home but uh, during one of the training exercises it was one that we never did in TA and psychotherapy world Uh, it was a meditation and it said to you what are you going to do with the last if this was the last three minutes of your life what would you do I did this course three times because I'm a bit thorough and each time I did it I think what we were supposed to do was come up with what what was we don't do it in in psychotherapy because it can be a bit traumatic it was Um, but I was expected, I think, to come up with the things that I wanted to leave the world with and my Mm -hmm. business with. And each time, all I could come up with was the last three minutes of my life, I want to be here with my bell pack, with Ali, and I will sign you all off and love you and and embrace that last three minutes. And each time I did it, it became clearer that actually I needed to (laughs) focus on my pack and on my family more than my business at least the same amount. We always did a dance around our business was our lifestyle mm-hmm. as well. So, yes, I failed on that aspect, I think, within the actual course, but it did keep coming up with something. And knowing how I worked at that in any time like that, um, I was I wrote up everything. I reverse engineered all the psychotherapy work that I'd done. Uh, I reverse engineered all the psychology and all the different threads of the psyche, soul approach to psychology, the soul approach to psychology, all reverse engineered all the common questions that kept coming up, the common problems that kept coming up for people. And so I kept coming back to that. And and eventually we were running autonomic nervous system, helping people on a traumatic level. I was working with people, managing that huge change that they were going through, especially vocalists and especially people who were in very difficult situations before the pandemic started. It was a lot worse. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot that was really, really great about working online and that, and that got a big tick box because it really forced us to get ourselves online and to work in that way. Um, and then the course of all that had gone before became the well-being principle. And I was very tickled because I was the principal of the well-being principle. Sure and was. you know how I like wee things like that in language. Um, so some things were flying. And then all of a sudden when we, we needed to stop the choir, I had an absolute grief and yearning to get to keep the music and that sound in my head and in my soul and in my heart. Um, and so that album 
I'm very lucky that it was with you because because you man because you were the director of the choir you understood the amount of vocals that I wanted and we needed or I needed around me right then mm -hmm. as we started our other quest home but this is about the home home so that's a bit of the context and the context from your side my love well we were just doing what we could like we all were and uh I was maybe on social media more than I used to be and I saw this post come up about a Scottish castle. You could live in a Scottish castle and I thought, oh, that's funny. And I just sent it to Denise thinking, look, there's a castle in Scotland for sale. Um, and I, my intention had just been a sharing of a story and then it led to us having a conversation mm -hmm. around actually do we, do we want to buy a castle yep. do we want to do we want to live in a castle well it turned out that no. we <laughs> didn't want to live in that castle actually of all the properties that we looked at we never actually went to see that one we did um yeah. but we were looking for our own castle we were. our home yeah. um uh, but it led it was a chance <laughs> intervention of um okay we're having a conversation about this do we see ourselves here going forward and mm -hmm. and the answer was actually maybe there's a different future for us mm -hmm. all of that from one newspaper clickbait it was one of these <laughs> things, though, that actually I, I do a lot of power pointing. Other people would call it journaling, but as a researcher, I have to do PowerPoint and bringing stuff together. And I'd already know, knew that we were, we were all, I was already off and running on home. And so my thinking about what home is and where a home is and what our home is and the importance of you in, in my in my existence um to towards thriving um you just i call it intuition yes you just of course pop that over and i was like yes i think so and I, you're right that wasn't the right space at all for us and it it i think that's a really important point is that actually you got to what i learned or what i I already understood the process of transition. We taught the process. We taught this stuff, and it was all coming to life. <laughs> and it's not the first decision is is to move, and then after that it became. There was a lot of um, disappointments, a lot of things that didn't go that went didn't go the direction. If you'd said to us where would we be, what would happen to us at the beginning of the quest, to or, and at the end of the quest, it was a completely different thing and it's so there's a not giving up and there's a using each not thing happening as a fine tuning for actually what it was we were and, and we would we would not be as happy in any of the places that we saw except for this one because this is the place we we're supposed to be yeah um, and so yeah a lot of resilience for sure I think there's there was a lot of um the way that our brains work we didn't just go um, okay, so let's look at this area, um, this many bedrooms to look like this. We were like, okay, so what is it that we want? What's that list? Mm -hmm. For us, for our family, for our business. And for the business. <laughs> we knew that actually what we, what, in doing this, we were going to open up a new level of business. Mm -hmm. And I remember sitting there, in the old house going I think I have one more in me I think I have another step up mm -hmm. that I can do um, and step out and you know, hire by whatever oh I was I was I wasn't even torn I was just like can I do this because mm -hmm. it's a huge undertaking more than I expected and this is one of my traits I only let myself know A and B we've, we've talked about this if I knew all the steps that were going to happen <laughs> along the way, yeah. I would never move anywhere. Yeah, I wouldn't some of do those anything. Steps were um, 
energetically taxing. <laughs> um, so, so you have a beautiful way <laughs> I think... Um, I don't think that we're fucking shit. <laughs> well, there, there's a couple of uh, times where it, it would have been easier if we'd gone, we definitely want to live in this area of Scotland mm-hmm. rather than just Scotland. We'd like to stay in Scotland. Um, so I've l- literally never driven so far around Scotland as on this quest okay. to find sawmill. It's true. Um, up and down and round and sides and right to you know, the very end of Scotland that way and right up there and that way too. And learned so much about Scotland. That yeah, was one of the things. It. One of the things. Scotland's a great place, people. Um, I'm from Edinburgh. I lived in Edinburgh all my life, apart from when I was on tour or doing other bits of work elsewhere. Um you came to Edinburgh and didn't really expect that you would move from Edinburgh. No, I I love Edinburgh. I still I love going back. Yeah. Uh, I love being a tourist in Edinburgh. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I, I like being there for a day or two and then coming back to my wood. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's such a privileged position, it I is. know. But I mean, Edinburgh is wonderful, and it's everywhere in Scotland, everywhere in the world is going through so many shifts and changes and processes and mm. so the Edinburgh that we left isn't there anymore. Yeah. It's a different Ed- Edinburgh when we go back, which is interesting yeah. and nice and sometimes a little sad as well because mm. we quite liked some of the bits that have changed, but yeah. that's okay. Um, I think, yeah, I never... I never thought I would leave Edinburgh. I loved it very much. Mm-hmm. And then it was time to was find time. a different home. Like I said, for us as a pack, but also for, for our, our business. business. Yeah. Because it became increasingly clear through the pandemic and after lockdown and, and the like restrictions that continued after that, that the level... That there were different traumas that we were all going to have to work through. Mm-hmm. Um, that we'd never seen before. There were different uh, challenges. Yeah. There were, and, and possibly everything that we could offer in Edinburgh wasn't going to um, meet the demand mm-hmm. of what was coming next. Mm-hmm. So we we were not flippant in our choice. We thought it through very deeply we on did. lots of levels we did and I remember when we decided because we looked at each other and we went whatever happens we're going to do this high five <laughs> and that was it and so there was no way back we knew that whatever challenges came up we were going to face them whatever grief came up we were going to face that whatever happened we were going to go on this adventure and it was very exciting and very um, enlivening and also oh shit oh yeah for sure I mean um, not just in the the changes that we were going to have to make choose to make do um, some things were actually just scary like some roads in Scotland are the most unbelievably (laughs) scary things to drive Um, I love Scotland and I, I really don't want a further industrialisation so I don't really want bigger roads but there are some roads that I would not choose to drive again <laughs> or even be a passenger, actually more so be a passenger for the drive. Um, we saw some unbelievably beautiful places did, that would have been... That, um, one of the things we talked about in this process was when we decided that we liked a place, we didn't just go, we like it, let's try and buy this place. We embodied, we fantasised an embodied experience of living there, where our business would sit within that place, what we would add, what we would take away, um, literally like seeing ourselves in the space. Mm-hmm. And, and and how it would be for other people to get to the space. Oh yeah. So why we didn't turn around on some of them halfway there, I've no idea. But because was... we literally would have had to reverse back, <laughs> and that road was only for going forward on, um, and then turning and coming back. Um, that's you can ask us for More some of the, the the interesting moments 
mm. on some of the trips if you like. Um, so I learned Scotland was bigger, more beautiful. Uh, and wild. And wilder. And that actually the map of the weather on the TV is not the size That's, of this place. Yeah. It's That's all not... squashed because it was it was bigger and more beautiful than even I, who knew Scotland, was passionate about Scotland, we both were, um, had realised. And that each area has something totally different and totally stunningly beautiful yeah, I about mean, it. Even the air smells different it does. in different places, yeah. which is cool and also strange. But if you go into Edinburgh, Edinburgh has a specific smell as well. It does. Um, we so... get to smell it now that we're done with yeah, it. Yeah, we we're like, oh, hops. <laughs> yes. Hmm. The, um, the... We had a checklist because I did a PowerPoint, as you would imagine. She did. And so we had a checklist of what it was we were looking for. And what was interesting, another interesting point was there were so many different things that looked completely different but actually still would tick the tick sheet and still we could fantasize and work out a plan with the working out the plan um, it became very sad when we didn't get it because i already think we felt we lived there yeah that's the, that was the, a hard one. the grieving process and not getting the properties that mm. we the, that we went for was deep because i'd already uh drawn it out mm. like this is where the where people will sleep and this is where we'll do our singing classes and this will, this will be where the breath happens so this will be the studio i think for anyone who's gone through a process like this it's not just about finding a house it's those moments where you really see yourself being somewhere and it doesn't it doesn't happen yeah the the process was oh harsh painful um, exhausting K kind of uh, for me at times like hope shredding um, and it's really hard to keep moving forward but looking back at it now I'm like okay this was the universe or whoever sends you your messages being very clear that this wasn't the right place mm. but at the time it was just like no it was the right place <laughs> I had it all planned. <laughs> I was ready. And then we we hadn't found this place and we had to leave <laughs> our house yeah. and uh, find and stay in a, a in betweeny place mm -hmm. which we really enjoyed as well. We it did, was yeah. really a sweet time. We lived in the town of Edinburgh we did. which we'd never done together before. No. I was really pleased that we managed to continue so happily in that um and that by then again i told you we started the album so we were really now we were at the root stage by the time we got to the flat of recording it um so that set up a whole new bunch of challenges which you you were the one that was handling most of that however not to skip over the grief um, of leaving somewhere where I had stayed anyway for 30 years um, and the, the different stages it had been through, memories it had been through and, and me with it and family and extended family and all of that that mm. is personal to us um, that went on with that. So it wasn't, it, I think what I'm getting from listening to us today is it's the process of transition in action and it's from, as we've said before, a privileged position of being able to do it. However, the challenge and the process is the same, whatever, mm. whatever process of transition that you're going and growing, definitely growing through. It's nice being on the other side of it to, to turn the perspective round and go, okay, all of those things happen to get us here. Yeah. And I'm really glad um, that, that we didn't get those houses or we had to feel those painful moments mm -hmm. because this is absolutely the right place for us to be now. And absolutely on some level crazy because we'd sold our house and we didn't have somewhere else lined up. We thought we did and then we didn't and we left anyway and, and went through with it and I think that there is times 
that to me is one of the key moments. We just kept saying, Gearverse, we're doing this thing. Um, but it's one of the key moments in any change is actually doing, going through, just staying adamant with what it is. It's not, we're not being precious about where we end up, but we are going to do the the, the quest that we said we were going to do. The next so, bit still needs to happen. It's still happening, still even happen. though it's not, the timeline didn't all fit into place as we'd hoped. No. Um, but actually, what came from it was rich and beautiful, just not how we pictured it, and that's okay. Um, any transitional period has loss, grief, cycling around the same process more than once, feeling like you're never going to get to that place that uh, is the A or the B. Yeah. You've left the A and you're in this middle bit. It could potentially have been really destabilising or we could have gone, oh, maybe maybe this isn't what we're meant to be doing. But and actually, started to backtrack. Yeah. But we'd done the five high fives. So yeah. There was no way back for us at that stage. And we did a very in-depth um, process of letting go of our home mm -hmm. in Edinburgh that, that almost couldn't be... For me, it, it couldn't be backtracked on mm -hmm. um, the saying goodbye and and the rememberings and the setting in stone the preciousness from that place. Mm -hmm. um, and honouring it. Yeah, and honouring all the, that had happened word. there. Yeah, it was a very precious place. And we spent a lot of time honouring mm. having been there and what it had brought for everybody that had been through its doors over the 30 years that I had lived there. Um, yeah. <laughs> we loved it. We did love it. And it still has a special place. And this is our now special place. It is. And there's something about, yes, Denise wrote a song, an album, a whole... Uh, just, just, what am I trying to say? A soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, to, for our lives <laughs> to, at this point. Um, and part of that is connecting with how can I feel at home in me, in our relationship in our pack, mm -hmm. because that stability held us through till we got the the physical stability of um, Sommel. You're right, and it is about having a home inside of yourself, You're, and that is exactly what happened. and the parallels with what was going on in our lives and the album <clears throat> was f unbelievable and really should have been expected but I preempted it with when I wrote it and then we were kind of recording it in real time mm -hmm. as it was happening um, <laughs> and be able to hear some of those real well, feelings <laughs> really soon you want to know what happened to us through this period of time what it felt like in an embodied <laughs> soulful singing way mm -hmm. that is it it, it and I, I, it was part of my way of processing it as we went i've written before most of it there was some i couldn't write until we got here um but the beginning and the middle were, was written before we left recorded when we moved into the flat and then recorded upstairs here and then recorded downstairs finally the last notes i think we managed to record here in this studio we did um <clears throat> and so it was an absolute soundtrack and there's something about teaching you know that well-being principle that we talked about earlier and being the principle of the well-being principle um teaching is such a good teaching method tool because i could hear what i was saying and as i integrated everything that i'd learned up to that point everything i said it all um everything i'd learned up to that point it then released me to learn lots of new stuff and it's the same with the house in in integrating all that we had learned up to that point, then we could move to our new aligned space. Um, and we did have an ongoing soundtrack. We did. That and RuPaul's, this is, well, this is the beginning of the rest of our lives, which we sang 
a lot. And we <laughs> took Abe, our little dog, on our trips with us. He also helped he inform did. us as to whether it was the right place. One place we went to, he wasn't allowed to come out of the car, which was unfortunate because he just set the alarm off like every sort of 45 seconds. Um, so we took this as a, a sign that this was not energetically the right place. Um, there was other places. Very wise dog. There was other places he came and he just sat on the lawn. This, like this it was is his okay. This is a, yeah. Here is what it will look like with me on it. And um, we came here in an absolute storm. Thunderstorm. I'm not even sure how we drove through the weather. It was very bad weather. It was the worst weather. <laughs> and it could shoot, it really could. It was a bit of a warning, to be fair, for the next year. But anyway, it was an absolute thunderstorm, you're correct. And you'd been off doing a course, and I was in the flat with the, the babbies. And we saw it. Did you see it? I saw it. And it was nothing like any of the ones that we'd seen. But it fitted all the ticky boxes. It ticked, it kind of like ticked the boxes like from round the corner of the list. Like it wasn't quite, it was like, we'd like this. Mm, yeah, it's kind of like that. <laughs> but it, it visually, aesthetically wasn't at all what we thought. And honestly, at this point in the process... I was like, we'll go and see this one, and if it's not this, we just need to stop for a while because I'm burnt out. Yeah, yeah. I can't well, take like any more. To be rejection. fair, this was an eighteen-month process. It was long. It was a long process. I mean, when you're packing your bags up, and then unpacking your bags, and little bags over here, and your list of belongings over there, and then you're unpacking your bags over here. So it was a lot of, it was a lot of, a lot of. Oh, being in the process of change which is a gift now because it it really enlivened what we already knew mm -hmm. the process of change to be um and you did say this would be the last one and i was totally there with it but you'd been on a course you'd seen it and we looked at it and we went hmm. and I we think went actually a, part of it i mean thunder and lightning yeah. very very frightening Part of it really might have been like, well, let's just go and see it, and it's probably not the right one. So I wasn't letting my heart get invested. Yeah, you were pretty sad by it. I was really sad. The last one rejection. we lost before that, I was like, that was the one. It wasn't. This is the one. This is so the it's one. fine. Um, but yeah, we came, and as soon as we saw, uh, as soon as we drove towards the house, it was just like nothing, like the pictures didn't do it, do just. it justice. For us, it, it, it was, a, well, it, for me, it was a feeling when I was here. I was like, this is, this is this the place. Is a, this is the thing. This How is very the scary that was. Especially since <laughs> the closing date was the following day. Yeah. So after 18 months, we had 24 hours to get our bid in, which was like quite fast. Uh and again, a sign that we're aligned. Okay, this is it. This is it. Mm -hmm. um, this is it. And uh, <laughs> and I had things that we didn't anticipate. Like there's a wood. There was no way that we had written in our thingies we would like to have a wood. But there is a wood. And of course, being breathers, the air here, with the amount of oxygen that all these trees make, is sublime. It's next level. We love the wood. We love the wood and all the little animals and creatures that <laughs> live in it. And I've already said another one. I'm a bit of a tree hugger. She is. <sighs> They're all my friends. So I think, like, the point in telling this story was going through that process is a real, yeah. Oh, it's it's a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Um. It goes round and round the same bits over and over again. It feels there's pain, there's loss, there's grieving. And, and it's exactly the same as the universal change that's going on right now for everybody. Um, it's part of that. Um, and our very personal experience of why we, what the soundtrack was. And just keeping taking steps towards our vision. 
Yeah, even though this wasn't our vision and there it is. Yeah. Couldn't imagine it any other way. No, but it did tick all the boxes. And a few, it did. And a few more. <laughs> and a few more would be very, very lucky. Yeah. Uh, and luck comes from putting in the work. We and worked and hard still, also. it did. We worked hard at it. It was a full time job, to be quite honest. It was. Uh-huh. We went from uh, having a car that sat outside the house. For two years. For like at least a, a year pretty solidly to uh, we we made we've up done our, our miles. We've our done miles. our carbon footprint for <laughs> yeah. for this century. We're staying home now. We're staying home now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what a beautiful place Scotland is and so inspiring. And the people are so real. Lots of welcome. Uh, lots of honesty, um, lots of laughery. New word that I've invented right now. Very nice. Um, and it brought us closer, even closer, can I imagine, together than than we were before. I think. Um, and certainly gave us lots of pictures and footage for our videos for the album. Yes. And listen to home at your own <laughs> discretion. It does. It's not a. It's not prescriptively like find your new home. No, um, it's about finding the home inside you. Yeah, it might inspire a few changes. You never know. <laughs> so. I would like that. Yeah, I would like that. I would like it. It's a very clear map for how I do it, and how we've done mm-hmm. it. Uh, and if if other people can grasp some bits of from what we've said today as well, you know, it's not. It's about the nitty gritty of these high, uh, at the top of the list stressors, moving house is one of them, um, and, and I always knew that it was, but it's that process of change. I mean, in a universal process of change. I've said that already now, but I wouldn't have really wanted to do it with anyone but you. Oh. And even when we got here, there was been tons of stressors. There has been unexpected stressors did occur. Life, Many of them. Life. Uh, we brought ourselves with us. We brought ourselves <laughs> with us, and life keeps happening. Yes, um, but that's uh, for another day. And I'm another very, day. very grateful to the people who had the vision to design such a place, um, and to all the ancestors of this piece of land, mm-hmm. which is over two hundred years now that people have been on this piece of land and to be chosen to be here now is a huge another privilege it's a word of the day but it's a huge um, honour I am very grateful to all that have gone before that we've taken it already in our near two years of being here to another level Mm -hmm. of comfort of 2024-ness on the back of a whole bunch of bloody hard work. So I feel pretty sure we'll continue to do our hard work here too yeah. to make it as special and as amazing as we possibly can for people to come and join us in and for us to be in. Yeah. Because the intention was always, as I said, not to run away but to run towards mm-hmm. the next thing with you. Um, <laughs> and so get running, people. We hope to see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> maybe we'll see you here maybe we'll see you online yeah. um, you welcome. can connect with us on Facebook Noble House Scott uh, you can check out our website noblehouse.scot you can please do, do. Subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube to our YouTube please it helps. do uh, subscribe to our podcast on please whichever do listening to our podcast. Uh, download them all of these things really help us to get the energy coming rolling round um we'll keep coming up with content we'll keep coming up with uh with stuffs um and it really helps us enormously if you download it and if you subscribe so please do and we'll see you again soon this has been a really interesting one right yeah it feels quite quite new quite personal it's very personal so you're welcome for hearing <laughs> a wee bit of our personal story today. It's the backdrop for everything, isn't it? It is. What we're coming out with now, be it courses or music or whatever. It's our set. 
We're setting it. We're setting the set. <laughs> Whew, we're going as fast as we can. I'm Denise. I'm Ali. Together we are DNA. And we'll speak to you again soon. Bye now. Bye.